Hey guys, it's Marky and welcome back to my channel. For this vlog, pag-uusapan natin ang strand ng senior high school na sinasabi nilang para sa mga batang or para sa mga estudyante hanggang ngayon ay nagugulahan pa rin kung ano yung strand na kukunin nila for senior high school. Ito ang General Academic Strand or ang GAS. For sure, marami kayong tanong tungkol sa strand na ito. So for this video, pag-uusapan natin lahat. Hopefully, masasagot natin yung lahat ng katanungan nyo tungkol sa GAS. Ang General Academic Strand or GAS ay isa lamang sa apat na strand ng academic track ng senior high school. Pero bakit ito tinawag na General Academic Strand? At higit sa lahat, para kanino ang GAS Strand ng senior high school? So ito na nga ang 10 things you need to know about the General Academic Strand of senior high school. Number 1. GAS is for the undecided. Ang strand na ito ay para sa mga estudyante hanggang ngayon ay undecided pa rin kung anong strand ang kukunin nila sa senior high school. O para ito sa mga naguguluhan on what they're going to pursue in the future. Laging tandaan, especially that you are still teenagers, may mga bagay na sadyang malilito ka talaga. O mga tanong na hanggang ngayon ay wala pa rin sagot. Kaya naman, ang General Academic Strand offers the safe zone for those students who would like to test everything first kung saan sila magaling. So ano ba yung factors na nag-contribute sa inyo para kayo ay maging undecided? Number one, family. Minsan may gusto yung pamilya mong strand or course pero ayaw mo naman. O yung friends mo na undecided din. At syempre, yung environment kung saan ka nabibila. So again, it is normal na sometimes maguguluhan ka. So sa pag-e-enroll sa senior high school, the General Academic Strand is the right one for you. Number two, guys is the most flexible strand. Flexible kasi dito sa gas, you will have a little bit of everything. So ano ba yung little bit of everything? So sa gas, maybe pag-uusapan nyo yung understanding culture from the Yung strand o yung organization and management or different management subjects from the ABM strand o di naman kaya ang science and math from the STEM strand. So lahat ng yon pwede nyo pag-aralan kasi nga nasa general academic strand kayo. Ibig sabihin, you guys, the learners, get to learn and experience different things from the other strand. Strand. So, may iba't iba kayong subjects from different strand na matututunan ninyo. Pero huwag kang matakot. In GAS, learners will be tested at matutulungan kung saan sila magaling. So, in the coming days, pag-uusapan natin yung mga core subjects na pwedeng ibigay sa isang GAS student. Be sure you subscribe now para ma-update po kayo sa mga next videos ko. Number three, the GAS subjects. As previously mentioned, sa GAS, marami kayong pag-uusapan. At yung mga subjects ninyo is categorized into the following. Meron tayong humanities. Nandiyan sa humanities yung creative writing or malikhaing pagsulat, introduction to world religions, creative non-fiction, a trend, network, and critical thinking in the 21st century culture. Meron din kayong social science. Nandiyan yung Philippine politics and governance, community engagement, solidarity and citizenship, at higit sa lahat yung discipline and ideas in social science. Meron din kayong applied economics, organization and management. Meron din kayong disaster readiness and risk reduction, work immersion or yung OG JT ninyo, at higit sa lahat, ang isa sa pinaka-importanteng dapat yung malaman tungkol sa GAS ay mayroon itong dalawang electives. Ano ba yung electives? Ang elective ay any specialized subject from the other strand. So, mabibigyan kayo ng pagkakataon na pumili ng dalawang elective mula sa kabilang strand. Pwede kayong pumili ng specialized subject na mula sa STEM. For example, Chemistry 1, Pre-Calculus, Biology 2, sa ABM naman, Business Mathematics, or Fundamentals of Accounting. Sa Yung, for example, World Religions, and Trends in the 21st Century. Ang pagpili ng elective ay napaka-importante kasi makakatulong ito sa pag-e-enroll nyo sa course na gusto nyo sa college. Number 4, ang bridging program ng GAS. Ano ba yung bridging program? You should always remember na walang specific specialization yung general academic strand. Kaya nga di ba pumili kayo ng mga specialized subjects from the different strands sa pamamagitan ng electives 1 and 2? Dito na papasok yung bridging program na kung saan, when enrolling in college, most of the time, a GAS student still needs to take general education subjects, especially if hindi niya ito nakuha sa senior high school na requirement naman sa course na gusto mong mag-enroll. So you should always remember na ang pagpili ng elective ay hindi basta-basta. Make sure you're thinking about what course you're going to enroll in college or ano yung profession na gusto mong kunin in the future. Siya nga pala, pag may plano kayong mag-take ng entrance exam, meron tayong mga free reviewers na makikita nyo sa description box below. Number 5, the GAS courses. Ano ba yung pwedeng makuha ang course ng mga estudyante na nakagraduate sa GAS? The truth is, wala namang pagkakaiba ang mga courses na pwedeng makuha ng isang GAS student tuon sa makukuha ng mga nakagraduate sa STEM, UMS, at ABM. 
Kasi nga sa GAS, diba, it's general academic strand. So pwede kayong pumasok or pumili ng course na gusto nyo. Just remember na may mga bridging programs pa rin na binibigay ang ibang college so that you will fit in to the right course na kukunin mo sa college. Pwede kayong kumuha ng BS Computer Science, BS Biology, BS Architecture, or BS Nursing, Bachelor of Science in Entrepreneurship, or Business Economics. Pwede din kayo sa Accounting. Pwede din sa Bachelor of Arts in Communication or sa Bachelor of Arts in Elementary Education. Bachelor of Arts in Philosophy and Bachelor of Science in Polsai. Kayong bahala. Number six, the diversity of learners in GAS. Each learner is unique in the general academic strand. If mag-enroll kayo sa GAS, you should always remember na may mga classmate kayong magaling sa science, magaling sa math, yung iba naman magaling sa communication, o yung iba magaling sa arts. Kaya naman, ang strand na ito ay very helpful for those students who would like to know more about their strengths and weaknesses. It is also a good strand to improve kung saan ka mahina. Kasi nga, may mga classmates kang for sure makakatulong sa'yo. And in return, matutulungan mo yung classmate mong mahina in a specific field na alam mong magaling ka. So magtutulungan kayo sa GAS para ma-improve nyo ang lahat ng pwede nyo ma-improve as a student. Number seven, versatility. When you enroll in the general academic strand or GAS, you should have an open mind or heart and ready to learn a lot of concepts and topics from the different strands of senior high school. Kasi nga, di ba, you will get a little bit of everything. So, ang the best niyong gawin, make GAS an opportunity to learn a lot of new things in senior high school. Because after all, if versatile kayo, you will be able to adapt to many things and concepts and lessons na makakatulong sa inyo so that you can survive the senior high school life. Number 8, sa GAS, mahasa ang inyong critical thinking at creativity. So, paano pag gamitin yung critical thinking sa GAS? Laging tandaan na marami kayong pag-uusapan sa GAS at may mga subjects kayong kukunin na mula sa iba't ibang strand. Kaya naman, ang paggamit ng critical thinking sa GAS ay importante upang hindi ka malito kung anong field of specialization ang kasulukuyan mong pinag-aaralan. There are times na marami kayong gagawin na kagaya ng ginagawa ng mga estudyante sa STEM at minsan din may ginagawa kayong activities na ginagawa ng mga estudyante sa UMS or even the performance task that is intended for the ABM students for sure gagawin nyo rin. So critical thinking is important to make your learning fun and meaningful. Don't forget yung pagiging creative mo rin. Creative when it comes to submitting requirements that is always needed as a senior high school student. In the coming days, gagawa tayo ng video na kung saan tuturuan ko kayo kung paano gamitin ang critical thinking as a senior high school student. So be sure you subscribe to this channel para ma-update ko kayo sa next videos ko. Number 9, GAS is challenging. In general academic strand, for sure marami kayong performance tasks o PT na gagawin. Nandyan yung role playing, filmmaking, reporting, case studies, interviews, surveys, at higit sa lahat yung research paper. You should always remember if you enroll in GAS, you will have a lot of things to talk about, a lot of discussions, because this strand has so much to offer. But wag ka matakot sa challenge ng GAS. Make this an opportunity to practice handling a lot of student requirements dahil importanteng skill yan na magagamit mo when you go to college or in real life. Kasi nga challenging naman yung real life, di ba? So take GAS as a challenge. Wow! Number 10, GAS will help you discover your true strength. The general academic strand is all about assessing yourself kung saan ka magaling. Always remember that all your experiences in GAS will help you in choosing your profession in the future. As a senior high school student, it is important to know kung saan ka magaling because you can use that one to your advantage at ang pinaka-importante sa lahat, ang general academic strand gives you lots of opportunities to know where you belong. Wow! So ready ka na bang mag-enroll sa GAS? If gusto niyong malaman yung ibang career-specific strand ng senior high school, may mga link tayo sa description box so you can check it out. May mga free reviewers din tayo na nakalista sa description box below upang magamit ninyo sa inyong mga entrance exams. Don't forget to like and share this video and subscribe to my channel for more senior high school tips and advice. This has been your friend Sir Marky saying, Laban lang!